Welcome to Hoffman Engineering. Hey everyone, for DragonCon 2014, I had two costumes. The first one was the Vault Dweller from Fallout series. You can click right here to see how I made the Pit Boy for that. And then the second one I had was Ant Man. I thought it would be a really cool project. I haven't done much cosplaying before, so I thought that I would just jump into it and make some awesome stuff. So before I show you how I made each of the pieces, let me just show you what the final result looked like. So let me start with the most complicated parts to this costume, which was the helmet. This was, this was fun. This is the first time that I ever made any kind of cosplay props. I decided that I was going to start, I found an awesome tutorial by uh, Featherweight, which has a basic cardboard helmet tutorial. If you look on the inside, you see that it's just made out of cardboard. There's cardboard cut out that fit my head, and then I shaped a piece of cardboard around the side. And that, that fit snugly, it fit good, so I decided to just build upon it. The inside, the bulk of this was made with expanding foam. And as you can see, the foam is pretty, it expands a lot, and it takes some time to carve out the shape that I wanted. Originally, it was just over the, the, the bulk of the cardboard helmets, and then I added the two mandibles, sprayed more foam over that, let that expand. And then I finally did the the helmet or the uh, the eyepiece, the mask portion, and sprayed that over, carved it all out with the expanding foam. For the front piece, I couldn't find anything that I liked, and so I figured I have a 3D printer. I might as well do that. So I went into SolidWorks and I modeled up this little nose piece right here. If you look on the inside. There's also detail on the inside. I catted that up and I printed it on my Maker Farm Prusa i3V. And then I cut the mandibles and put in the nose piece and secured that with hot glue. And it seems to be holding pretty well. I haven't had any issues with it falling out or moving or anything like that. So after the expanding foam and the printout, I covered everything with Bondo. And it took quite a few layers of you know, putting Bondo on it, sending it down to a rough shape, putting some more Bondo on it, sending that down. It took about three three coats of Bondo to get it to the shape that you see before you. And it was just a lot of sanding. You have to definitely take your time because there's a lot of even imperfections that were left from my original layers that are pretty clear once you're up close to the, the helmets. But overall, I think it turned out pretty well. All the eyebrows and all this were shaped using the Bondo as well. The antenna itself were just some old paintbrushes that I had that I cut off the tips of the paintbrushes and just stuck them to. And then the tips, I couldn't, again, I couldn't find any balls that were exactly what I was looking for. So I just quickly printed those out myself too and stuck them on the end of the paintbrushes. These are epoxied on. And then once that was, I painted it, clear coated it, and I think it turned out pretty well. The cardboard was surprisingly comfortable for the four days of the convention, and I really didn't have an issue with it. So, you know, if you're going to do something like this, just jump into it and see what you make. Your first attempt could turn out really awesome like mine did. The rest of the costume over here is the belt. The belt itself is made out of 6mm foam that I bent using a heat gun to the shape that I needed the belt to be. And then plastic dip the outside and then a couple coats of spray paints. The front emblem was, I designed that in SolidWorks as well and 3D printed it and then I epoxied that right on. It started to peel away a little bit near the end of the convention but for the most part, it stayed there pretty securely. And I made a little, just a little pouch out of some of the leftover fabric I had and used that to fit my phone and carry the things around that I needed for the convention. And then the rest of the costume was relatively simple. I just bought a full body suit 
a full spandex red bodysuit. And then from that, I had some some stretchy fabric that I had and just cut that to shape. Uh, lots of pins, lots of awesome sewing, and it turned out okay. It's really hard to sew on spandex, so go slow, take your time. That's what I learned with that. And then the rest of it was just some gloves that I found on Amazon, and the same with the socks, just similar colored socks. And I think overall the, uh, the costume turned out pretty well. So, And Dragon Con was a blast. I met some awesome people. I saw some amazing costumes, and it was just, it was a good time. So I'm looking forward to my next convention, looking forward to my next project. If you subscribe, I'm sure you'll see it, and uh, it'll be awesome. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll uh, see you next time.